This network is our business. Our network of community DSD jobbers that go around in their vans and bring new product into stores is the lifeblood of Mr. Checkout. Mr. Checkout was started in 1989 by my father, Bob Goldstein, and it started as a program where he was a distributor himself. And he was driving around Boston in his van bringing you know, no-nonsense pantyhose and little trees into the smaller convenience stores and uh, grocery stores. And he started training other distributors how to do the same in different areas. Quickly grew to a larger company where we were training people throughout the country with several trainers. And we hit a problem. The problem that we hit was that the distributors that were bringing product into the stores could no longer meet margin with you know, Duracell batteries and big lighters and you know, the sundry items that they were carrying. So we really kind of pivoted the company. And that's really when I came on board. We tried to find the better products for these independent distributors to carry that'll keep them with margin, will keep value and quality within their items, and remain a fast-moving item in their store. And through that, you know, we've been able to launch Blue Electronic Cigarettes, Five Hour Energy, and a number of other kind of checkout counter items, as well as back-of-the-house uh, beverage brands. Our average distributor has between 150 to 300 stores. However, you know, we got guys in Manhattan with 50 stores and guys down in Texas with thousands. Um, it ranges from multiple trucks on the road to you know, one guy in a van going store to store up and down the street. In addition to our distribution program, we also own and operate about 13 industry associations. Through these associations, we have about 150,000 members uh, mostly small independent retailers throughout the country and they use us very similar to how the distributors use us as a ear to the ground to try to find out what product is selling, what's doing best and what's trending with the community so they can stay relevant in their area and stay in business. As the larger retailers really struggle in the space with Amazon and online competition, the smaller retailers are thriving. You know, we're seeing about 5% annual growth of new retailers joining in this space, whether that's gift to pharmacy, to convenience, we're seeing a surge. And really that small retail market is a huge opportunity for any kind of emerging brand because they can build that groundswell from the smaller communities that grow into the people who talk about you online and the people that keep coming back to those stores asking for the product and growing the business. Just as when I purchased the business from my father, our vision is really to continue to provide the best path to market for new products to try to get into this independent retail space and to provide a great service for these independent distributors and retailers on a national level to find the best product that's gonna move well in their stores, bring them the best quality product, and provide them constant value.